Um, still a brown belt. Do you think that's going to be a factor? No, I don't think so. I think William's been, you know, very active in the Nogi scene, you know, uh, the C Trials champion and things like that. And uh, yeah, let's see what uh, they're going to bring. So, right now, I think it's no secret that, that Rao, obviously a member of the Henzo Gracie team, a noted submission hunter. You called it earlier, actually. You mentioned about how 41 of his 44 mm -hmm. recorded wins were by submission. That's a staggering 93% finish rate in his matches. So pulling guard early and working from this half guard, knee shield kind of position, try and get in on the legs. But we've seen this, haven't we, Shanji, that Tackett, you know, he's got a pretty well-rounded style. He seems to be pretty uh, up to speed with the leg attack game. Oh yeah, he's already, you know, prevent the game. And I think, you know, Jay's already show where he came from, which strategically could be a problem because now, you know, gives Tackett the idea to, you know, defend how he's going to defend. And I just like how uh, Tech is playing play a little more positional. And staying away, nice pressure, keep the knee in there. Something I want to note is that in the coaches' corners for William Tackett, you have, of course, he's Austin-based, so you've got Rodrigo Cabral and his uh, teammate. You have Cody Steele, who's going to be up in action shortly. Uh, but in the corner of Jason Rao, you actually have the pound for pound number one Nogi grappler in the world, Gordon Ryan, sat next to him, Dante Leon, who is also on the card a little later this evening. Right now, I'm liking Tackett's posture here on top. He's doing a, uh, a pretty good job of not only defending those entries from Rao, but he's in a good position to start passing as well, as we're seeing here. Yeah, I like the way he's, he's put his presence in there. I see his head is close to Jason's uh, you know, head also. He's putting pressure. He disengages, gets, gets an angle, engage again, and, and forces Rao to, to, to push him. And I think this is in a longer run. We are two minutes down. I think that can water Jason down a little bit. And you know, one thing that uh, you, you especially see this when grapplers go up against a member of the Danaher Death Squad, the Henzo Gracie team, the ones who are really on the cutting edge of the leg lock game, is that they, they are often a little bit fearful of entering the guard because mm -hmm. they don't want to get tangled up with the leg game. However, William, going straight in, but... You know, that is interesting that Rao switched from going for the submission entries and instead elected to come up into top position. Yeah, well, I think it was more like, you know, Tackett coming down. They're not for open. Nice guillotine attempt. I don't think because of the, the rule, uh, I don't think they're going to really care so much about switching, switching positions. Yeah, very important to note that this is submission only. So no points for sweeps, no points for takedowns, no points for any kind of positional control because the name of the game here at who's number one is submission and these 15 minute matches give the guys look at this stepping oh, over on top nice go for the triangle here tack it on a triangle beautiful he needs to adjust uh, nice defense has extension on the arm as well hard to see from this angle what he's got but he got it he's looking switched. on the wrong side triangle now still an arm trapped oh, for jason yeah. rao he had to do that in that in the position otherwise he's gonna lose it uh, his head is kind of coming out a little bit now. He fixed it. Oh, got a Kimura, Kimura here as well. And it. there is the finish. Tackett gets the Beautiful. tap via Kimura arm lock from inside the locked on triangle. Our first submission of the night here at who's number one. Oh, that was beautiful. He got that on the hook and deep half guard is straight to triangle. Our referee, our referee 